alaikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. Consider the plight of the butternut squash. This rather suggestive shaped vegetable makes it a bit of a comedy item. However, you can make a delicious, cheap and easy meal out of one of these. Now the first thing we need to do is to cut the thing in half and I've got a really sharp knife here. Make sure you keep your fingers well out of the way. There we are. I always think the inside of these look delicious. Now, we need to scoop out these seeds. Make sure you get all the fibrous stuff that goes with it as well. It's nice, got all the fibre out. So there we are. Two nice halves of butternut squash. And these seeds, you can separate them from the fibres, dry them and eat them as a snack. Now into each cavity I'm going to put one clove of garlic, which I've thinly sliced, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and rather appropriately a knob of butter. A little bit of seasoning. Now I'll brush the cut edges with some oil, in this case olive oil. Okay, now I need to pop these on a baking tray. Now these can go in an oven at 190 degrees C for 40 to 60 minutes or until they're nice and tender. So here are my squash, they've been baking for about 55 minutes, they're just starting to go a little bit dark. I'm now going to leave these to cool until they're cool enough that I can handle them. My squash are now cool enough that I can handle them, so I'm going to tip out these lovely juices into a bowl. And then I'll scoop the flesh out and put that into the bowl as well. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll do the other one now. Right, so I've now got two butternut squash halves scooped out and some lovely tender butternut squash flesh. Now you can add what you like into here. I'm going to add 150 grams of cheese, a teaspoon of mixed herbs, any herbs will do, a bit of seasoning, and then mash it all together. Oh, this smells so good, I tell you. All right, I think we're ready for the final phase. Now all we have to do is spoon the mixture back into the skins. Looking good. Now sprinkle on some more grated cheese just onto the top. It's looking nice, I need to pop them back on my baking tray. Now these will go back in the oven at 160 degrees C for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're heated through and the cheese has melted. Now these just look super lovely, smashing great. Bursting with cheesy goodness and all that vitamin A, C and E. So please, don't mock the butternut squash anymore. Just cook them and eat them. Join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Nihon. Until next time, good harvest.